I am calling all schismatics from the CMRI and SSPX to stop what you're doing right now, including the guy in the cassock, and start fighting within the walls of the church because you will not see the beatific vision. You may get to heaven, but you'll be in a lower part of, of heaven, and you won't merit the beatific vision because you didn't fight within the church. You rolled over and you left because it was the easier path. And the, we are not called to the easy way out. Sometimes God gives us cures, but this in particular, our lady said in Bayside, stay my children and fight. And she is the one that is directing the final battle of Armageddon. And she is the one that will crush the heel of the serpent. And she wants us, she's crying because she wants us in the church fighting off all these heresies. And how are we to do that if we run away? And it's such a poor example by these men in cassocks and these schisms who are ever so willing to dra have people come in and never leave because they profit monetarily off of it and because it makes them look good in a matter of numbers. Cha-ching, so to speak. Their reputation is at stake if you reunite with Rome. And that is a terror to all of society. And we can see the evil spreading from Post Falls and Coeur d'Alene, which is severely wracked by Freemasonry and the Jews, and also Post Falls, especially through these libraries, which is just uh, synagogues of hell pretty much for the children all these false doctrines they preach in there we've got to clean up our act post falls and Coeur d'Alene we've got to get right with God and we've got to stop the the heresies and the schisms that's the number one thing and the bishop is really the one that needs to start fighting this every day through prayer sacrifice and good works and deeds and we need to reunite as Catholics under one banner, faithful and true. And we can see miracles that would happen if even one person wants to do penance for this. If you feel the need, I, if you feel called, do your penances every day for these priests, these diocesan priests, because they're too scared to stand up to their own government. They're too scared to fight off a judge, a state judge, who's maybe crucifying one of their lay people through this family law they would rather partner with this wicked judge in family law and crucify their own in the confessional than they would stand up to that judge call them or walk in that courtroom and say look divorce is wrong and this is a latin mass fssp priest who's just willing to roll over and play dead at the drop of a hat and these are the people that our USCCB has ordained for us and it's sad and it's humiliating and crucifying but we kind of deserve it because we weren't good we weren't faithful when God really wanted us to be we ran away we went to college we went, made a lot of money drove nice cars didn't care about the poor so to speak and so as a result as a penance but ultimately, for the good of our souls, God has put these wicked priests over us. Priests who don't care, truly don't care about the poor and the lowly and the lost and the abandoned. They really could care less as they get on the podium. And you can see that in their eyes. <laughs>